A year and a half ago, I recommended the Milwaukee three inch cutoff tool. After a year and a half of using it, would I still recommend it? One year later, should you still buy this tool? So this is the M12 three inch Milwaukee cutoff tool. Okay, so this is more of like a, a year and a half or two year later since I've done a review on this. Now, if you've never seen the video that we did for this tool, we did a full review, I'll leave a card up here somewhere for you to check it out. But long story short, I liked the tool. I thought it did a pretty good job. I thought it was a little bit underpowered, but I've been using this a lot. The question is, would I still recommend it? Do I still think it's a good tool? Do I still think it's worth the money? Listen, you see this at the Home Depot all the time. As soon as you walk into the store, they have these sitting up on the shelves and you're probably sitting there scratching your head saying, hmm, well, you know, I could probably use this, but what could I use it for? Maybe cutting nails, wood, no, you're not cutting wood with this. But not only does this work great for nails, which I'm gonna show you, I've really been impressed with one other feature that this tool has to offer. Now, I mean, it's only to be used for certain things, but for me, I, I was thinking this thing was going to be a little bit more powerful than it is. It does bog down on occasion. So I would definitely recommend at least a 3.0 or higher battery when you're using this. But let's take a look at it cutting some metal nail screws and I'll show you how cool it does with that. And I'm gonna show you something really cool, which I never even thought about using this for, but I've been using it a lot for. Now, this is one thing that I actually really enjoy using this for when it comes to tile. Now, you get a tile blade that comes with this tool. My problem is they're a little bit hard to find. You know, when I go into Home Depot, I would expect them to sell these, but they just don't have them in stock, at least at my Home Depot. But what's really cool about this is going around toilets, going around showers, or just those awkward curves. Check this out. It's way easier to use in a tile saw. Now, that being said, could you do the same thing with the grinder? Yeah, you could. But I like this because it's a little bit lighter. I think it's easier to control. I like the grip on this thing. It just makes everything nicer. It's compact, small, real nice like. Now, the one thing that really kind of irritates me about this is that you need a wrench to get this blade off, replace it with a new one, and there's no onboard storage for that. So I gotta look for that tool. It's in the box, or maybe I have one in my toolbox. It just gets frustrating. Other than that, the blades are really simple to change. You just gotta make sure you don't lose your wrench, and once you take off your wheel cutting blade, well, you can take on a metal blade and just put it on like so, and yeah, you know, you get the point. Now, another thing that is frustrating is I have also been having trouble finding the Milwaukee blades, you know, the cutoff blades for the metal and the nails and all that. So I've just been using the Avanti Pro. I have nothing to do with this channel, but you know, that's what I've been using. I can find them at the Home Depot. Another thing I really like about this is that it's fast, way faster than a multi-tool. So I got some screws here. I got some nails here. Check it out. Love the smell of abrasives. So again, you know, could you do the exact same thing with a grinder? Yeah, if you wanted to save some money, then skip this tool. I wouldn't buy it. If, if you have a limited budget and you just have enough for a grinder, you can do all kinds of different things like grinding, cutting, all that, you can do that. But I really like this tool. I think it's light, it's easy, it's more mobile to get around. I think you can get into better areas than you could with a grinder. I like the ergonomic feel to it. It's smaller, you got that nice grip handle right here. I like that you got a forward and a reverse on this, so if you got sparks hitting you in the face, well then you can reverse it or put it in forward and shoot the sparks out the other way. I find myself using this more for tile than I actually do for cutting metal. That's just the stuff that I'm doing right now. Held up really, really well. I Again, you know, is it a little bit underpowered? I feel that it is a little bit underpowered compared to a grinder. That said, you've seen it cutting through that piece of tile without any issue. I do find the blades are kind of hard to find, especially the Milwaukee. You know, when you go out with a grinder, you can get a four inch disc and they're everywhere. You can go into the tile section, find them there. You can go into the tool section, find them there. With the three inch, sometimes they carry them, sometimes they don't. I order mine on Amazon, or sometimes I'll get lucky and I'll find that Avanti Pro or whatever it's called at the Home Depot and I'll pick a couple of those up. So would I still recommend this tool? Well, when it comes to function, yeah, absolutely. This is still a great tool and I stand behind what I said during that last video. But if you are on a limited budget, I would say stay away from this tool and get a grinder. 
I don't feel that this tool is a necessity. I feel it's more of a want than a need. That said, if you do feel that you need it, you're gonna be happy with it. I still recommend it. And I think they did a good job on this. Now, as far as it goes with the attachment for this, you know, I was all excited when I first seen this in the box and thought, yeah, I'm gonna use this a lot. And I gotta be honest with you, I've never, ever, ever used this thing. But maybe you will, I'm curious. Have you used the attachment? Do you like the attachment? You can put the vacuum on there. I, I don't know, I, I'm interested to hear what you think. Is it even worth putting this in the box? Now, as always, I wanna know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you own it? What do you think about it? It's always fascinating hearing what you think as well. If this video has helped you in any sort of way, please don't forget to smash that like button. <laughs> it's greatly appreciated. I always appreciate stopping by and with that, we'll be back with more videos soon.